What is going on YouTube and Happy New Year to everybody. Welcome to episode 4 of Rising to the Top with Ebb's Fleet. And today we are going to recap the first 10 matches of season 3. So, um, in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, we witnessed our promotion in a very tight race. Promotion to Football League 2, finally. Now, for those of you who didn't quite catch that last time we got promoted based on goal difference as you can see right here so there we go <coughs> we got promoted based on goal difference here now it's interesting to note to note that both the matches that we played against Barnet we lost them 3-1 and 3-0 um, against Eastleigh, we won 3-1 and lost 1-0. Uh, in the second match, we lost 1-0 at home as well. So, to get promoted on goal difference and earn straight promotion from that is a great achievement for our last season. And that, as I mentioned, sees us rise up to Football League 2, where we haven't performed that well so far. So, to kick things off... Let's start off with the recaps, f starting off from the first match of the season, obviously, and that was against Mansfield Town in a 1-0 loss. Liam Marsden scored the only goal in the 40th minute. Um, next match, this was one for the ages. Well, let's take a look at the goal highlights in the match versus Fulham, who are currently a championship side, and we managed to get two past them and knock them out of the competition. Here's the first goal you're seeing. MacArthur gets it over to Sheringham and that is 1-0. Now I've switched over to 2D highlights purely because I was actually um, doing a live stream last night and most of the people wanted to see this in 2D so we're gonna keep it going as is. I'm gonna post the link to my Twitch community later on and that will be on my main profile page. Here's a second goal scored by MacArthur, our wonder kid. Probably one of the best regions I've ever seen in the game. And that made it 2-0. So, the next match we lost 4-1, our second league loss in a row, this time to Bury. Then we lost 3-0 away at that home to Oxford. Oxford, sorry. Then our first point in Football League 2 came in this match against Stevenage. And the only goals were scored by Adam Marriott in 46th minute and Michael West in 86th minute. So here's the first goal, the one that put us down by a goal. Gorman, Deacon, Storer. Deacon, Hewton gets it over to Kerr, crosses it in, and Marriott heads it in for the first goal of the match. 46th minute, it's 1-0. Then we have West and Sheringham combining beautifully over here. Excellent play by McMahon and Baines to find West nearly wide open, he capitalizes on the clear cut opportunity and that's 1-1. One, one. So that was our first point in Football League 2. From that match on, by the way we are covering everything up until the Gateshead match. <coughs> Next match sees us getting our first win of the season, or actually, no 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 sorry, this is a Capital One Cup second round match versus Swansea and a brilliant comeback by the guys here. Takashi Ushi scored to make it 1-0 for Swansea. Inui, sorry, Takashi Ushi, wow. And here's the equalizing goal. Scored by Alex Smith, who's in on loan for us.
Baines, Smith with a brilliant run forward there. Sheringham does well to find him. He pushes it back. There's Deegan, MacArthur, Smith, nice pass. Finds Sheringham, Sheringham scores, sorry. Smith was a man of the match in, in this match. So Sheringham made it 1-1. Here's 2-1 for us. Cook. Over to Smith. And Smith pops one in. Nice goal too. That made it 2-1 for Ebb's fleet. And here's final goal by Anthony Cook. Excellent cross there. Cook is making a free run down the wing there. Watch this right here. Brilliant way of cutting into the box and in front of the defender. Getting right in front of the goalkeeper and he ducks that one away. That's 3-1. That was an epic one for us. After that, we drew 0-0 against Cheltenham Town. And then lost 1-1 on penalty shootout to Barnett in Johnston's Trophy South first round against Shrewsbury. Uh, we're going to take a look at these highlights because the video hasn't been running on for as long as I thought it would be. So, which means we're going to cover these highlights and a few signings for this season and that will be it for this video. So this will be one of one of the shorter ones in the series. There's the first goal. Shrewsbury goes up 1-0 on a goal scored by Knight Percival. Here's 2-0 for Shrewsbury. Terrible defensive blunder there by, by my guys and just couldn't recover after that. Cassidy made it 2-0. And the final goal of the match making it 2-1 and scored by Brook. Liam Brook. Yet another one of our good regions. And another nice goal by him. So that's 2-1. That was the final score for this match. And finally the last match we're covering for today before I go on to transfers. The match against Gateshead. Which we won 1-0. And the only goal of the match was scored by Charlie Sheringham in the third minute. So, here's a highlight. And that was it. 1-0. So now, looking at the signings for this season, obviously we brought in Alex Smith on a free transfer. He was in on loan from Plymouth initially, and then I guess there was no room for him in their lineup, so I plucked him away from the team, and he's ours now. Miguel Lera, I brought him in with um, intention to, well, have one very experienced and good center back in the back there, and he's accomplished exactly that so far. His average ratings don't really speak for it, 6.56. He hasn't played to the best of his ability, but I have faith he might be able to turn that around in the near future. Amari Bell coming in on loan from Birmingham. Um, again, I brought him in primarily for his speed, because he can get open and bla uh, blast past his coverage down the left side. And finally, we have Alex Jones coming in on loan. Brought him in for his speed yet again and for his decent finishing and composure so he's a little bit better than sharing him in those apartments but he is still not the class striker that we have been looking for since day one now players are going out we had Aiden Palmer let go on a free Matt Gordon let go on a free we loaned out Tyler Smiley which is interesting to note because 
at the end of last season I loaned him out to a conference side uh, let's see who that was Oxford City and he had 11 appearances for them scoring seven goals collecting two man of the match awards and combining for 7.15 average rating um, that certainly helped out with his development and now this season I'm sending him I, I've sent him off to Eastleigh on loan yet, yet again Eastley. well you saw that they didn't get promoted last season thanks to us so <laughs> um, I've loaned them out to them and he's played fairly well for them contributing another three goals I've let him play in one match for us in League 2 he did alright although he didn't score and then we have Dave Baines. Unfortunately, Crystal Palace pried him away from us for seventy-seven thousand. Um, at least we got some money back, but we lost a very decent prospect here. Uh, this guy has potential to be a decent Premier League attacking midfielder in the future, and I am saddened to see him go. But there was not absolutely nothing I could do to keep him here. And finally, we have Oliver Rousseau and Daryl McMahon leaving on a free transfer and McMahon used to be a captain last season but he is just not good enough for this level uh, he's more of a conference or north-south type type of player so I wouldn't want him in my lineup right now when we're in football league two and we need an absolute best we can get so with all that being said, that brings this video to an end. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed the content, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you back for the next one.